everybody welcome back to my channel I am Meg from lovely jubbly furniture and I realized that I actually don't say my business name that often so a lot of people have asked how to say my business name it is a lovely jubbly furniture so let's get started on this video because I am doing a makeover today of a vintage wardrobe and it is quite a large tall piece and it turned out amazing so let's get started This wardrobe came in two pieces, but I actually, with my husband's help, we screwed down the top to the bottom, making sure it was completely secured. And this piece is really quite old. It had some peeling veneer on the outside. The inside had the original hooks and coat hooks on the pole and the beautiful little designs on the front. It was just a really beautiful vintage piece and I wanted to try and just keep it simple, but I definitely had to paint it because of the top was very, very warped and there was no way to fix that, so I left it as is. And the sides, as you can see on the bottom, were quite peeling veneer. You can see the top there, it's sort of bubbled and there was no way of even taking that off and replacing it. So I've left it and I've also put in the description for the piece that it is old, it is vintage, and it's to be expected of pieces like this. As you can see, the inside, all original and quite beautiful, solid wood. And I actually left the inside, I just cleaned it. And also here you can see the lock, uh, which I took out already and kept it, but just needed to take it out so that I could uh, work on this wardrobe. I'm gonna keep the original hardware. I think they're so pretty and they match this piece perfectly. So I used my pliers just to take off the nut on the back. They were a little bit difficult to remove. I then covered up the mirror at the front. I was gonna take the mirror out because it is possible to take it out, but I thought, no, I'm gonna keep it in because again, it is original to this piece and matches this piece perfectly. And I think putting something else there would make it more modern and it's not a modern piece. So I added paper to the mirror to cover it up so I wouldn't get any paint on it and just use my green tape to add that to the edges. Now, I must have forgotten to film the part where I filled in the wood veneer and I did that first thing and then I used my orbital sander just to sand it nice and smooth once the wood filler was dry. I also filled in the front there as you can see with some wood filler because there was a gap there and that was very difficult to fix so I thought the only way to do it was to put wood filler there and it is still a little bit bumpy but I mean like I said this is a vintage piece so it's to be expected. I used my furniture clean and prep spray to spray the entire piece and then I used my water mist spray just to run some mist over it uh, to remove any excess of the furniture clean and prep spray. Once all that was done, it was time to prime. And again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did scuff sand. I always scuff sand and clean my pieces. And then I started to use the primer. Now it's time for the paint color, which I've already put on the front, and I was just doing spraying the bottom here. This is called, oh my goodness, now I, it's complete. I loved, oh yes, Horned Owl. <laughs> and it is a all-in-one paint. 
which I absolutely love. And this is probably my favorite color. I just love this color. And I've used it quite a few times now. I did about two coats of this paint. This is a new paper texture that I'm using. It's called fiber paper. It's a bit thicker. I did have a little trouble cutting it, but I think because my X-Acto knife here wasn't sharp enough and it needs a new blade. Other than that, I mean, if you have a sharper knife and you can cut it really well, then go right ahead. I'm sure it will turn out perfect and cut really nicely. But again, I should really sharpen my, <laughs> or change the blade on that knife and I'm sure it'll cut better. It's much thicker than decoupage tissue paper. Um, and then I brush clear coat over the top and you can use any varnish as well to seal it. And it actually hardened and is quite durable. Then it was time to top coat and I'm using a satin varnish by Cottage Paint and I did two coats of this. I took off the paper from the mirror and this is what it looked like before. You can see all the peeling veneer on the bottom here and on the front, which again, like I had said before, there's not much I could do about that gash on the front there. I just filled it in as best I could. And the inside is all original hooks and hangers. It's a really beautiful piece and needs just the right home. Here is the after, it turned out so beautiful. I love the design on the bottom, it matches perfectly with the Horned Owl paint color. And this time I actually had to film inside my workspace. So this piece is for sale, it's on my website and I just think it turned out really, really pretty. I love the details on it. It's still looking, it's vintage style. And that paper, fiber paper design was perfect for it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week, uh, Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And please take a look in my description. I have lots of ways that you can support me as well as watching my videos. Thanks again. Take care.